Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth on Playframe, and welcome back to the mines, the bottom of them we fell a ways with Barrett and Red. But that's fine, it just means we get to hang out for a while with Barrett and Red. And in retrospect, I really should have tried stealing from Rude and Elena. Gotta remember to try stealing in boss fights. If Remake was any indication, sometimes there's weapons and rare things you can only get from those encounters. Maybe it doesn't work that way this time, but it could. Also, I bet this is a weapon. It is for Red. Beautiful. All right. Red. Wear this. Uh, this, I mean. A collar made during the war is a symbol of revolt. Slash at a foe with Crescent Claw. Deplete the gauge while in vengeance mode to increase potency and range. Okay, try finishing off an enemy with Crescent Claw, which looks very cool. No new materia slots, but... Let's see. Increased vengeance mode duration by 20%, which is great. Vengeance mode is... I don't know if I've gotten into it yet <laughs> on camera, but boy... If you block a few hits with red and then go into vengeance mode, it lasts a long time, and red is devastating during it. Uh... I actually like this, because once you are in vengeance mode, you can use Siphon Fang and do a bunch of damage, pressure enemies, and also regain HP every time you do it, so just increasing that could be kind of nice. I'm going to do that. Because Vengeance Mode, as it is, already lasts a pretty darn long time. It would have to be a very long fight to run yourself actually out of Vengeance Mode before the enemy is defeated. Ooh, well, sure. If it's on sale. Why not? And a quick little bit of bench time. It's important. Center yourself. Before taking on the day and the flans. Hello. Need my help, do you? Want some more? Oh. I don't have a cess here on me, which is not great. I'll have to swap with Cloud or buy another version of a cess. Maybe I'll do that, actually, if there's any in that uh, machine back there. We'll just have to make do. Red, get in there. And try using your new thing. Probably won't finish the enemy off with it, but... Oh, there, try wildfire instead. Good. Alright, soften it up a little more, and then... Try using this and see if you can finish it. Yeah, beautiful. Haha. Ha. All right, so I've the more you blocking you do with red, the more that vengeance mode gauge fills, and the uh, whenever you activate it, the more full it is, the longer it lasts. This enemy is not going to last very long, so let's go ahead and just get into that mode and start using Siphon Fang and just obliterate the enemy very quickly. Crescent Claw. There we go. Whew. Yeah, red is very strong once you figure out how to use them. Which I've only just barely begun to. Can I buy another copy of Assess? Because that is going to be helpful. I know I could probably get Cloud's copy on Barrett, but uh, might as well have more than one if I have the option. I do. Great. So who's going to use it? Yeah, hang on. Uh, let's go ahead and replace wind for the time being. There we go. Okay. Assessing is important, and so is shooting crystals. These are two facts of life. You're only going to get to play Barrett 
as party lead for so long. Got to enjoy the shoots while you got them. All right. Now how are we getting out of here? That might be an option. Oh yes, that could work. Now hold on. Oh yeah, there's other things over here. Come on, Red, let's swim. Is it okay to have your tail in the water? I guess it must be. There's a lot about your tail I don't entirely understand, Red. This time I'm ready no away from this. to scan the flans. Okay. Let's make this. Weak to fire, exploiting their elemental weakness will pressure them. They drop MP restoring items upon defeat. That's great. I love that. Now, I don't think Barrett has any great fire stuff going, but Red does. Leave it to me. Let's see. Wildfire. A fire magic attack that doesn't expend MP, hits multiple enemies, can use while airborne. Seems like the perfect situational thing. Beautiful. Vengeance mode. Go nuts on him. Sidewinder. Very good. And... Fire. Mmm, it feels good. Anything else worth finding around here before I move on? Probably. Goodness, who knows how many things I've missed already. There's probably something at the top of that over there. There is. There's materia over there. I see it now. And crystals to shoot. What is it? MP up. Ooh. Got one of those on Aerith already. And she's definitely the one who could use it most. Honestly, we've got all kinds of great materia for everybody. The big limitation right now is just slots. Everyone's kind of got five, maybe six total. Which will improve as we get better weapons. Okay. That's my bread. Feeding Well struck. Going in. Take this. Keep blocking. Vengeance mode. Mess him up. And use your wildfire. Beautiful. Goodness, Red just <laughs> gets devastating once in this mode. Hey, did you see me in action? Nothing else to grab back here, is there? Shoot, obviously, yes, but... I feel like I'm missing things. Ooh, we got like a little branching path here. Which may not have a ton of significance, but... 
No, no, there's a different place to land over here. Okay. Uh, here we go. Lots of materials, which I'll take. Doesn't seem to be much more than that, though. That's fine. There we go. Ooh, rocks. Rocks, what need shoot? There you go. Hmm. Where do we proceed from here? Oh, more climbing this way, I see. We gotta be getting closer to the rest of the gang. Starting to see more actual mining equipment now. Ooh. That's what I was seeing. I, feel your luck's run out. I think I'm gonna regret having put the wind materia away. We'll make it work. Get that bonus round going. Ow. Hit it. Haha. -ha. Yes. Destroy. It's a pretty strong duo here. Give me things. <laughs> Got to enjoy the shoots while you can. <laughs> oh, I see a chest. Enemies of some sort. Oh, there you are. You're all hidden in the dark. There you go. All right, all right, all right. Where's our group, though? Ooh, I see that, and we are going to push this thing to get it. I like that even with just one arm, I really feel like Barrett is pushing this a lot faster than Cloud does. <laughs> he is much stronger looking. Can we... no. How do we... hmm. I see, I see, I see. Pull this back here. Red, what are you doing? Are you chasing your tail? You have fun, buddy. Just keep yourself occupied while I get this sorted out. I'll have it in a moment. Here we go. Come on, Red. 
We're going. Hmm. One of these. Ow. Keep shooting it. Yeah, get out of range of all this. Let's see, what should we do here? Given it's weak to fire and... Barrier right now is definitely stronger on the... Oh, I do have a wind attack, what do you know? Definitely stronger on the electricity side, though. So probably best switch to red. Mess it up. Yeah. That was something else. Hmm. Two directions. Looks like this one's a dead end, though. Red buddy, we are going the wrong way. I think we're lost, Red. We're gonna die in this cave. Which is all the more embarrassing after talking a big game about our past experiences in caves and mines. We can't go out like this. Well now, look who it is. Hey nerds. Oh, hey guys! Over here! <laughs> Y'all taking a breather? Or what? The bridge is out! Do you think you can give us a hand? Hmm. Let me see. our group. Alright, we can climb up this way. And it looks like that's probably the thing to do. Oop, might need to shoot a thing first. Yep. There we go. Hey, my bench. Y'all get your own. I guess you did, but I'm taking this bench. You don't even have butts. You can't sit on it. It's wasted on you. Now then. Ether for me, Phoenix down for me, yes please, very good. Eh, might as well. We fought for it. Hmm. I want it. Very badly. Open? Excellent. But how? Hmm. It's gotta be a way. It's gotta be. Let's clear this rail. And... Huh. 
There's more stuff over there, too. We'll look at that in a minute. We'll get this across first. Hmm. Getting toward the end of the line here. But we can switch rails. I think. Yes. But to what end? Where are we trying to get this? Not back here. But if we do move it back here, then we can switch the rail, then we can bring it over here, then we can... And we can already climb here. There's got to be something else. Maybe it can help us reach that somehow? Or... Yeah, push the cart off the ledge. I see. I see. I see. And I do see a chest over there. Hang on, we gotta go get it. And another one hiding over here. Goodness. Sneaky. I hate these boxes. Very good. There must be some way we can dislodge that container. I got a plan, Red. Don't worry. Now we switch rails and run this off a ledge. Oop. There we go. Look out below. We're in business. Thanks. Appreciate it. Two grand. And don't you forget. There they go. How are we getting over there? Maybe. Oh, there you are. I can open it from here. See a button or a lever? One sec. Thank you. Boy, we're all getting so deep in debt. Gimme. Darn boxes. Uh oh. Is that thing? Oh shit! Think we woke it up? Angered it more like. Then it's time to rock Cranky Boy here back to sleep. Ooh, ah, a mithril golem. Like that hurt you. No. Ah! Uh, Ouch! No. Let's assess this thing, quick. Gotta fight the whip. The mithril golem, weak to lightning, conveniently. An amalgamation of mithril ore given life after a seismic shift caused Mako to pour from the earth. It uses the rocks in the cave to do away with intruders. It is resistant to physical attacks, but damaging its head will pressure it, making physical attacks more effective. That's great. Get out of here. Whew. Or block it. Also good. So first thing I'm going to do is use an ability called 
Plasma Discharge, which temporarily imbues our attacks with lightning, which is going to be great, but also deals damage in a like surrounding area every time our one of our ATB gauges fills, we just do like a little electric burst around us. That I think is going to help. Boom. Yeah. Get in there, Red. Let's go. Get in there. Focus shot. Staggered. Yes, yes, yes. Go, Red. Mess it up. Keep going. Very good. Uh-oh. Ooh. Both eyes now. Whoa. Damn! This sucker keeps on getting bigger and bigger. But hey, just means it's that much easier to hit him. Am I right? I hope so. Because it's got a sword and shield now. Do we know anything about its arm? Hmm. You're up. Ready nope. About damn time. We can target different parts of the body. That's kind of cool. Come get Let's get Steelston going. Oh, okay. I'm okay. Whoo, immune. Boy, those perfectly timed blocks feel great. It just shook it off. I'm gonna make you recover. Overcharge, fire. Good. Maximum fury. Ow. Probably should have blocked that. Oh boy. Don't like that. Keep hitting it. I guess I should do it from close range so that uh, I can benefit from these filling gauges. Yes, there you go. Hit that arm, Red. I don't suppose, Red, you have ooh, a synergy ability. Overfang, heck yes. Barrett sends Red flying toward an enemy at high velocity, raises their limit levels. I would love to see that. Overfang at the right arm. Get him, boys. Let's keep chipping away. Beautiful. Oh, it's pressured now. That's great. Heck yes, and staggered. Red, you have a limit break of your own. So Howling Moon is the... Oh, wait, no. Bloodfang is the standard one. Charges charge forward in an animalistic rage, bathing in foe's blood and restoring HP and MP. Howling Moon, though, which we've now got access to because we used that duo attack. Howl to the moon above, activating a longer-lasting vengeance mode. I'd love to see it. Yeah! Oh, those are cool to see. You're just gonna be in vengeance mode for the rest of the fight, I think, Red. Which is not gonna last much longer from here. Mess it up. Arrgh. It's got its darn defenses going, but... Arrgh. Come on. Its health is so low. You can do it, Red. We've almost got Stardust Ray going. I think that'll finish this. Okay. There we go. Man, boss fights in this game are fun. That's a mighty fine staircase. Thank you kindly. Just little puzzles to solve with your specific bunch of characters and kit of abilities. It's real well designed. <laughs> Take this, crystals. Let no rock dare challenge me again. Ooh. 
Yes. And this is what Aerith opened for us, so I think we're catching up. There's nothing down there, no. Okay. Had to make sure. Although, nope, actually I think that uh, might be the way forward unless... Nope, this works. Great. Hey gang, wait up. You missed the rock fight. Hey! What took you? Stumbled on the killer rock formation and couldn't tear ourselves away, right? The ground here could give way at any moment. We shouldn't linger. True, but don't forget, Shinra knows we're here now. Might be more of them outside. That doesn't make any difference to me. I ain't stopping, not for them or anyone. Not after Midgar. Not after what we saw. We all know what's at stake here. The fate of the world. So if they get in our way, that's on them. Right. Let's get back to tailing the guys in robes. They're our best chance of finding Sephiroth. It's a plan. They're not hiding anything just like right back here though, are they? I feel like that's something they would do. Ah, oh, we have been here. This is where we just had the Turks fight. All right. I can come back to pick this place more clean later. Hello. Surprise. Get him, Barrett. I got something to Oh no. Ouch. I got this. Bring it. Unbridled strength. That it? Again. I got this. What are they weak to again? I keep forgetting. Fire. Right, cloud, that's what you have on you, conveniently. Ah, sure. Fire. -a. Go nuts. Deal with that. Yes, it's my turn. Ow. Suck on this. You got this. Let me handle it. Mess him up. Goodness, she does do that damage, though. One step at a time. So much of it. Feels like we gotta be getting toward the end of this place. I can even see light up there. Yeah! Pardon me, crawlers. We're on our way out. It's on you. Yeah, I'll do it. There we go. We're out. Almost. Oh, just a window. Still. Almost out. Yeah! It's so bright. <laughs> hey, check it out. Just them? Guess so. Too. Is that? Yes. 
Shinra territory. Come on. I am very excited to see Junon. New town. And a new area. And a new summon to fight, I guess. And new quest to do here. We found our new big open world area. We have, we have. That's kind of neat. It doesn't like show you all the other world areas if you're not in that one immediately. This one does seem smaller, though, relatively. Then again, it does have a big town in it, so I really shouldn't make guesses, should I? It's lovely. And this is... unfamiliar. What is this? I don't know what this place is. I'm very curious. And is that... I don't know what that is, but is that... Fort Condor way up in the distance? I wonder. Hmm. Much to look forward to. Let's go. Where did that bird even come from, you think? There's a story about a great condor said to roost on an island's abandoned reactor. Oh, right. Though there's no longer any way to reach the isle. Or at least, none that I'm aware of. Nature's finally reclaiming what Shinra stole. Well, even if we could get there, I'd rather not bother. Didn't seem very friendly. Agreed. Let's focus on where we can go. Hadn't even occurred to me that the big bird might be the condor. <laughs> it did fly off in that direction, though. Ah! You startled me, little guy. Direct me to your finest bench. Best you got, huh? Yeah, I'll take it. You are very cute. Thank you. Here, come on. Have a little pet. For your good work. Okay. I love seeing the, like, recruitment billboards up there. Now, what have we here? A chocobo wall? I, I'm guessing... Oh. I am guessing a chocobo could climb this, or at least a certain kind of it? Um, can I call a chocobo here? Not yet. Each region of the world is home to its own breed of chocobo, with its own unique ability. However, you will need to wrangle the area's bird first before you can call it to your side. To find where the local chocobos roost, locate and follow their tracks. Note that some regions chocobos may require you to complete certain odd jobs or progress in the story before you can ride them. Good to know. Hmm. I'm torn. We've like got several interesting directions we could head. We could head right into Junan. I see... Some chocobos this way, which probably means we should start there. I am also really curious about that. Let's start with this. Because getting a mount out here would be very helpful. Well, look at that. Another chocobo ranch. I wonder where the owner is hiding. Let's ask around. Ah, Chadley, hello. Uh, you might be the owner. Maybe. You have a quest, anyway. Who are you? Wait, you didn't come from the grasslands, did you? Yeah, we did. You know Bill? 
He helped us cross the swamp and everything. He what? Uh, God damn it. I told that idiot to take his signs down. Swamplands are dangerous even on Chocoback. I'm Gabe, by the way. Owner of the ranch here. And before you ask, my birds are not for rent. Ain't worth the risk. <sighs> Used to run deliveries, but Shinra put the kibosh on all that. Still trying to keep it going best I can. Well, was trying till my carriage shit the bed. And since I don't have the parts to fix her, both she and my business are as good as dead. Even the chocobos are feeling down about it all. You know, I bet we could help you fix it. Kind of you to offer, but nah. It's just a matter of getting the right parts, isn't it? Says the girl who ain't got to fix it. But even if you were some kind of secret grease monkey, I wouldn't be able to pay you for your time. I'm flat broke. Curious about my birds? I've tried setting them free, but they just keep coming back. Force of habit. <sighs> well, nothing for it now. Serves me right thinking I could run a business. Should have known it'd all fall apart. Hey, come on now. Don't be so hard on yourself. Please, Cloud. He needs help. If not for him, then at least for the chocobos? Well, for the chocobos. Why are you so adamant about this? Maybe I just want to feel like I did a good deed. But look at him. And his birds. Hmm, all right. Sweet! I wasn't really asking, but... I gotta warn you. The parts I need are hard to come by. At least around here, they sure are. So where can we get them? From this craftsman at the top of the mountain. He'll have them. Can't go on foot, though. Only a certain chocobo can make that climb. Ooh. Bird by the name of Belle. Last I saw, she was over yonder. And she ain't a big fan of people. All right. Let's roll. That seems like a good thing to start with. I like that we're finding not only a different chocobo in each area, but also a different named one. Like, each chocobo we get as our mount for an area has their own name. I like it. Before we go looking for that bird, though, there's others around here. And also interesting things to investigate. Like sails. Um... Eh, cheap wind materia, sure. And luck up. That's new. Why not? These are also both new. Hmm. A little expensive, though. I'll hold off for the moment, but I'll probably come back and buy them. Later. I should also... Pardon me, Tifa. I should also look at this. We've not checked out the bookstore in a bit. Huh. Got a bit for Baird and Tifa, at least. Let's see. An ability with Cloud or a skill with Tifa and Aerith. We should do that first. Team up with your partner to perform a ranged scattershot attack. Yeah, these should be the highest priority, I think. Perfect. And Tifa. Bodyguard is unlocked. Good. All right. Hmm. An electric ability. Max MP up. A fire ability. Opening ATB bonus. Slightly fills the gauge at the start of battle. That is probably something that would be worth getting if I could, but I can't yet. Let's grab another one of these elemental things for her. I wonder. So here's a wind one. It strengthens wind materia spells. I wonder if it also strengthens damage from like wind element abilities, like that new one we got for her. Probably not, given it doesn't specify it, but... Who knows? Okay. Anyway, there was like a shop and such. Hello. Howdy! Care to give our wares a 
the once over? New chocobo gear in stock, you don't say. You don't seem to be selling, though. Give that bird a pat on the head for me, will ya? Unless I was looking at the wrong... Business is booming at our one-stop fashion shop! I was. Ooh. <laughs> Scorpion helmet. And gear and whatnot. Oh, we can get one thing. Start with that, I guess. Sure hope Gabe starts pulling his weight soon. We're working on him. All right, Chadley. What do you need? Junon's Chocobo Ranch. Perhaps you were already aware, but the Chocobos here are raised on a diet of feed, seaweed, and fishbone meal. Unsurprising, given the local industry. Good local facts, bud. Thank you. So, new materia to start working on. Magic efficiency. Lightning and wind. I really want that. Item economizer. Interesting. Allows you to use items without having to consume ATB after performing a number of actions. This effect will automatically trigger during battle. That's interesting. And increases ATB when staggering an enemy. Also very good. Ah, I want it all. That's work for me to do. I wish you all the best in your ongoing hunt for world intel. Thank you, Chadley. Right. The Chocobo. Let's do that before we wrap up today. Sorry for roping you into this, even though he can't pay. Not can't. Won't. Hate to break it to you, but pretty sure that guy's better off than he looks. Wait, seriously? Are you saying I got duped? That he's just using me? <laughs> Afraid so. Huh? That jerk. <laughs> Whatever. I'm not doing it for him anyway. I'm doing it for the Chocobos. Yeah. And also, I don't know how good a judge of character Cloud is anyway. Time to sneak up on Bird. <laughs> Goodness. What a Bird stealth mission. Um. Oh. Don't mind me. Nothing here but this little cart rolling forward all on its own. For no particular reason. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Got some rocks to work with now. That's good. Gonna need that. Hmm. Where are we gonna try to get to with this, though? Hey, bird. Look that way, please. The chocobo shows no interest in the rock. Come on now. Well, then go chase that one. Bird. It's an interesting rock. You'd know if you went and looked. Hmm. Maybe we're throwing a little too far here. What if the rock went over that way? You're impossible. Hmm. I can't, like, climb over here, can I? Doesn't seem like. Why is the bird not interested, I wonder? Hmm. Do each of these carts have a different... thing you're supposed to hit, or, uh... 
Are they all moving as one? When I uh, hit the switch. This is worth investigating. They are. Okay. All right. All right. All right. I see. Of course, once it's here... Throw a rock at the... Oh... I see. Good thing I have one rock left. Throw! Hee hee! Not today, birds. Oop, pick up the base cloud. Okay. More rocks. Good, good, good. Hmm. All right, there's our switch. Uh, ha! Oh, this is not the direction I was... Okay. I'll make it work. Okay, gonna have to switch sides here. Oop. Careful. There we go. Yep. Okay. Uh, nope. It's fine. Nothing you gotta worry your little head about. Yes. You just be good and stay put. Haha. -ha! Mine. We're going to be friends. See? Told you. Hello, new friend. Phenomenal. The chocobos of this region have legs and talons strong enough to scale certain cliff faces. If you spot a surface marked with garish graffiti, approach that symbol while on chocobo back to scale it. You can also climb down these surfaces. Rad. Yay! We have befriended birds. With climbing skills. Let's report back to the ranch. Hey, Gabe! Guess what? The bird loves us. Curious to see how this all turns out. Um. Thank you. Well, I see we've plenty of work to be doing out here, so I will see you all tomorrow as we get started proper in this tier Junon region. Take care till then. Goodbye.